So how do you how do you manage and keep your thyroid levels optimal? Like what are things that you, that you that someone can do or you can do to do that? So kind of two part answer because at the end of the day, no medication or prescription is going to be a magic pill. You know, we have to address root cause. And so if we're not sleeping at night, if we're eating fast food all the time, uh, we're not eating enough food. We're, we're doing all these things where it's like our nutrition, our lifestyle, our exercise habits need a little love. We got to go both ways. It's like <laughs> that that prescription or medication is only going to help you if you're also helping yourself in the other departments. Mm-hmm. And so that's where, again, you know, can you hire a good nutrition coach to really audit your life and see where's there room for improvement? Where are there things that, you know, it's like you might be doing something and not even realizing how it's impacting you. You know, like maybe you're somebody that you love having a glass of wine every night and you don't realize, oh, well, shoot, that can be impacting my hormones. That could be, you know, impacting all these things, right? So it's like that gets back to like, if you've never hired a nutrition coach, I must still say that is one of the most valuable things you can invest in. I mean, you used to be my client. (laughs) I had several nutrition coaches over the years. Um, So I think that's really important. But uh, yeah, gonna grab a sip of water. We're doing a lot of (laughs) shit. Well, I think, I think the most thing that I've seen with people who um, have hypothyroid and like getting digging back into their history, there's a lot of things in common. There's like chronic dieting. Um, there's poor diet. So like a diet that's high in processed foods, not a lot of nutrients um, in their diet. And I then just keep also, that and I'm gonna like give yeah, myself yeah, a headache, like, but I'm gonna, I'm just keep yeah. Keep like, and then. <laughs> lots of stress. So whether it's emotional or physical stress, like either, you know, just a lot of like emotional, mental life stress, but also to like people who are like chronically doing too much stuff, like exercising too much, and then also not eating and taking care of themselves and sleeping. So it's like just a recipe for your body saying, we we're done with this. And then chronic and this under recovery, man, yeah, is the killer. Yeah. And that's, that's the, th- that's a lot of the common denominators I see with people when I dive into their history, like why do they have like Hashimoto's or hypothyroidism? Sometimes, yeah, it's genetic. Yes. But, but, um, you know, with, with a lot of cases, I do see that. I literally was just like one of those little like bobbles that you see when you go eat sushi. <laughs> I'm just over here like yeah. bobbing. Uh, no, you you smash that out of the park. Um, there is, you know, there's a lot of things where it's like it can be genetic. You know, if somebody in your family has it, the likelihood of you also having it pretty high there. But for the most part, it's like understanding that again, we the the things we do, the choices we make in terms of what foods we eat, how much we eat. Um, you know, are we getting nutrient deficiencies, like you said, because we're not eating tons of fruits and vegetables or we're not getting enough fiber, we're not getting enough water, we're not getting enough sleep, we're living in that world of, uh, you know, under recovery and just beating our body down. Those are all things that basically hedge us towards, oh, okay, well, you know, if, if body is in survival mode, well, we know that sex hormones start to flip off. Same thing, you know, it's like your thyroid is basically just like the central commander that's like, okay, the ship is going down. What do I do to Mm -hmm. keep this thing afloat, right? And so it starts down-regulating everything. It starts down-regulating our metabolism. Um, So it is, it's it's cool because with thyroid stuff, there is so much stuff that you personally can do and efforts you can make in nutrition, lifestyle, stress, sleep, you know, all those things that make a big impact. So Mm -hmm. um, to get back to your original question, you know, we have to address root cause in addition to there's, I've talked about this on so many podcasts, but like people often feel a kind of way about taking a a medication or a prescription, right? It's like, oh, mm-hmm. I feel bad because I'm not, you know, it's like I'm not doing enough. Not or, doing it the natural way. <laughs> correct. And it's like, yeah. I, I fell into that camp. You know, I've talked about mm. that on quite a few podcasts. Like I fell into that camp where it was like I spiraled and I felt bad because I couldn't do, couldn't be unnatural. And it's like, listen, uh, it was actually Dr. Becky Campbell is the one who has quoted this, but it's like, listen, if you need thyroid meds, not taking them when you need them is arguably more damaging than actually taking them. Like the the symptoms and side effects are so, so small. Like the the risk of you, you know, having problems there is so 
so small. And so it's like truly like if, if you're doing all the right things and you still need medication to bring you up to normal, you like you deserve to feel good. Like that's the big take home is it's like, like, fuck, I want to say fuck your feelings, but actually I'm going to say like, fuck your feelings. It's like you deserve to feel good. So why don't you think you deserve to feel your absolute best? You know, it's like if, if quite literally taking a little pill every day suddenly is the difference between, hey, I have energy and I'm not cold all the time and I actually poop on the daily and I feel good during my workouts. I show up as my best like parent. I show up as my best like, you know, boss or, you know, employee, whatever it is. It's like, if quite literally that small action is what could get you from A to B, why in the world wouldn't you want that for yourself? Yeah. Um, I, just, I just got, <laughs> I'm like sweating a little. I just got really <laughs> heated, but it's again, you know, I, I see that so often and and I've been in both positions and I also know how silly I felt when it was like, it, for me, it was when I was like 29 years old, I was like, oh, I'm, I'm just going to do everything natural. Well, then I had this dumpster fire shit show that was so far, you know, it's like I dug myself into this grave. So it was even harder to just get back out on the other side of it. But I did. I felt so dumb and I felt so silly because I started taking medication and like instantly went from like a yeah. negative 20 to like, oh, I feel like a person, like I'm okay. Um, so truly, it's like if you are somebody that you're feeling bad about taking a prescription like let let yourself feel good. Give yourself permission to experience that. 